There is a place that RV dwellers gather every year. It's the Mecca of the RV world. Maybe you've heard of it, Quartzsite, Arizona. If you watched the movie Nomadland, then you've seen it because part of it was filmed in Quartzsite. It stars one of my favorite actors, Francis McDormand. They won a few awards, I believe. A few of the folks in the movie are just people who were there when they filmed it. They weren't actors, just people. We'll talk more about the movie in a minute because I think it gave some who watched it a bad impression of Quartzsite and the folks who come here in the winter. I heard about Quartzsite a few years ago but only made it here recently myself. It's a small town near the California border and it's at the crossroads of Interstate 10 and Highway 95. The first time I camped here, this was my neighbor most days. This guy is a local and he goes around digging holes looking for gold. He says it's a hobby and he'd show up every day sifting through dirt. He must do okay because it looked like hard work and he dug that hole pretty deep in just a week. But that's what Quartzsite was when it started. A mining town. It was originally called Tyson Wells back in the 1800s but changed to Quartzsite because of all the quartz around here. It's everywhere. You can't take two steps without seeing it just lying on the ground. Here's some of that quartz. Quartzsite is called the desert phenomenon because of all the rocks. And these rocks can cause the occasional flat tire. Yep, that's my tire and it happened right after I got here. The other thing Quartzsite is known for is its rock show and RV show. Starting in January, a whole bunch of people show up. Some say it's about 750,000 people who visit, although most say it's more like 250,000. Regardless, it's crowded, and Quartzsite becomes the third largest town in Arizona during the month of January. The RV show is the biggest of its kind. Vendors from all over come for it, and you can buy anything you need for your recreational vehicle. Or you can just buy a new RV if you're in the market. Most of the year, Quartzsite is just a small town of around 3,500 folks. They live here full time. It can get to 120 degrees in the summer, so all these RV folks, which is mostly snowbirds, clear out before then. I did find a couple of interesting places to visit in Quartzsite and interesting people, like this guy. His name was Haji Ali, but the locals called him Hi Jolly. And this guy had an interesting story. Hi Jolly was born into the Ottoman Empire. That's Turkey, by the way, although I think he was born in Syria and grew up there. High Jolly came to America when he was recruited by the United States Army to be a camel driver. This was in 1856, by the way. Yep, the Army had this wonderful idea to use camels in the American Southwest. It was an experiment, really. An experiment gone bad. Nobody here knew anything about camels, so they went out and hired some camel drivers like High Jolly. After a few years, the army finally gave up on the camels and either sold them or let them loose in the desert. Seems that horses and donkeys don't like camels much, so High Jolly lost his job. But he became an American citizen and still did a little scouting for the army from time to time. Like when they were trying to round up Geronimo. High Jolly was out there looking for him. Never could catch him. High Jolly eventually got married, had kids, and ended up in Quartzsite. I think he did a little mining here like everyone else. The people loved him. When he died in 1902, they buried him in the Pioneer Cemetery and all his friends built a really nice memorial for him out of stone. It's right in the middle of Quartzsite off Main Street. It's a pyramid, which kind of makes sense, although he really wasn't from Egypt. The memorial gets lots of visitors and is even listed on the National Register of Historic Places. I like the camel on top myself. Quartzsite also has a gum museum. You don't hear a lot about that. Yep, Joanne's Gum Museum and she has a collection of gum wrappers from around the world. It's open to the public, but you might want to give Joanne a call before you go. She's not always open. These days, though, Quartzsite seems to be known for the movie Nomadland, which was adapted from a book by the same name. 
Surviving America in the 21st Century is the byline, and it's about down and out people living in their vans. I'm not saying Quartzsite gets a bad rap in the movie, but when it first came out, I had a lot of my friends, who don't own an RV, ask if that's really what it's like out here. You know, a bunch of folks who squat on a bucket out in the desert? My answer was an emphatic no, it's not like that at all. You have a complete segment of society out here, rich and poor alike, and the occasional nudist colony. The folks out here are from all over. Some of them have homes and only travel around in their RV part of the year, and some of them travel year round. It's a lifestyle that's not for everyone. Out here you'll see motorhomes and fifth wheels worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And yes, you'll see folks living out of their van like Fern did. But you see that in every town in America, so it's no different out here. Like I said, it's a segment of society. They film No Man Land out on BLM land, which is all around Quartzsite. If you're out on BLM land, you're off the grid. I think they shot in one of the long-term areas where you pay a few bucks and you can stay for a few weeks or a few months even. I like staying in the Dome Rock area myself where that guy was digging a hole. Lots of room so it's not too crowded. I did try a long-term area for a week or two to see what it was like. It looked like a big family reunion really. I read where the crew for the movie No Man Land lived out of RVs in the desert just like everyone else. But there are tons of RV parks around Quartzsite where people can park their RV and hook up to power, water, or even a septic system. Lots of them. Like this one. Man, why didn't I think of that? What you see of Quartzsite in this movie was shot on the surrounding BLM land and the story is about people living out of their old vans or run-down RVs. They didn't show you the half million dollar motorhomes out here or huge fifth wheels that are everywhere. That part you didn't see in the movie. They weren't about to show a retired CEO sipping their cocktail at sunset with shrimp on the barbie. It wouldn't quite fit their story, I'm guessing. Personally, I like camping on BLM land myself. So do plenty of others. Some of us prefer living off the grid instead of in a crowded RV park. So, the people who visit Quartzsite are just a slice of Americana. Hope that clears it all up. One place you should visit if you ever make it here is Beer Belly's Adult Daycare. It's in one of the RV show areas and it's a very unique place. It's all outdoors and they're only open during the winter months. They have live music daily. You see a little bit of everyone in here. The beer is cheap and the conversations can be memorable. Lots of nomads hang out at Beer Bellies. Cool place to visit if you ever make it to Quartzsite. Just don't forget your bucket. You might need it. That's all I got. Cold hand, frozen feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory, a faded piece of history. No one can remember all the fun. The late night barbecue, zipping on a genie juice.